Hi guys, so today we're gonna take a look at the uh, this microscope, it's the Swift SW380T a microscope that uh, I think quite well advertised on the market as a cheap, affordable uh, and quite decent quality microscope. Today I would like to share my thoughts about it and actually review a bit of the product that I've uh, received. You'll have an unboxing video, uh, I think before this or in the link. And today I'm going to focus on quick uh, quickly on the defects that I have found in my, at least my uh, microscope. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. The first thing you're going to notice is that, um, well, it's a very nice, nicely built microscope. It looks like a good quality stuff. Uh, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that this thing, the objective holder, um, is actually was actually spinning so you could you could like you know change the objectives but also the whole holder would uh, rotate so what I had to do I had to tighten it up and that, that, I don't think this is good and actually you know when I do this over time it got gets kind of loose so I think you have to use some uh, thread locker uh, on the on the little nut inside there that holds this uh, black circle. That's one of the defects. It's uh, not a big one, but it's, uh, you know, a bit unpleasant. Uh, the second thing which is related to this kind of uh, assembly uh, is that uh, if you look very, ah, you don't have to look very carefully, but actually the, the lens uh, and the objective, uh, they are not on the same line. They're not centered. And it's very easy to see I think if I will lift up the table all the way up, uh, I hope you can see that. Uh, the objective here, it has like three, four millimeters here, and it has actually nothing. It goes over the side of the lens. So this is not on the same axis. It does not affect quality of the image very much, but on some of the magnifications, you could see the edge here, and it actually covers part of the, uh, of the picture. I don't think this is good. And I don't have the fix uh, recommendation for this defect apart from either returning the microscope uh, to the manufacturer or uh, actually taking out these, like there are three bolts that hold this, uh, the whole assembly uh, and actually trying to move it a bit, a couple of millimeters uh, yeah, to this side. Um, it, it's a bit of a shame. It's like, I mean, you're buying something for three, four hundred euro and then you, you have these, uh, yeah, crappy assembly, I think it is. Because as, as far as I could see, uh, the, 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 the axis of the LED and the axis of the objective, they are uh, coaxial, you could say, they are on the same line. But uh, this whole assembly that transmits the light from the LED, uh, it, it's, it's not on the same line, it's actually shifted a bit. That's the biggest bummer, I think, on, on these microscopes. And I think if you get yours, check that. It, it you know, uh, it, it might be something to worth considering also when you're buying these. Um, yeah, the third thing, which I think is quite large, uh, is the uh, these uh, height adjustment knobs. The the coarse one is working quite nice. But when you get to the uh, to the spine adjusting knob, it, it, it seems like it's you have to spin it at some point with the with the effort. Like it seems like the axis they are sitting on is bent somewhere. So it's like sometimes and, and this has to go really smooth because you have to do fine tuning. That's one of the defects. Um, and I think actually it's sometimes when you rotate it. It actually grabs this one and it goes like that, you know. I don't know if I could show it to you. Yeah, 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 you see? Yeah, so this is a bit not okay, I think. Yeah, you see that? This is not fine. I mean, it's bleh. quite terrible, I would say. On the other hand, um, yeah, maybe one, one more thing to notice. If, if, if it's in the lower position, the table, 
then the distance between the uh, the diode or the focusing lens uh, of the diode and the um, yeah this part of the table is quite low so it's very hard to for example change the the filter it's impossible to do that so it would be good if they would put like some sort of a thing uh, stepping out on the side the same thing as they did with the uh, with the diaphragm speaking of which i mean <laughs> when you when you try to adjust it it's just you know wobbles like that it's it, it doesn't have any resistance so to say it's good and bad i'm comparing it to the other two microscopes i have they are high grade biological microscopes um yeah a bit older ones and old mechanical i mean those things they have quality in it and all these parts are done with with love it's the Reichert microscopes very nice ones the optical quality of the device is quite nice the objectives are yeah they are nice uh, the magnification it's fine i mean we have the 100 times oil objective could be replaced with 60 times probably because i don't know i would probably not use oil at all um, the the oculars are really good and i mean they they are of a good optical quality everything else seems to be fine but this thing the not coaxial uh, diode and the table uh, the adjusting knobs this spinning thing they are something so yeah consider that it's it's a handy tool it's you know a bit of more care and love that should be put on this one and then it's going to be a great really great purchase but for now with with the one i got from the german company uh yeah i'm, I'm not really happy with it that's what you could say Cool, but guys, I hope this will help you to make your choices. Yeah, I hope this would be helpful to you guys. And uh, see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.